I'm going to show you how to use Igloo, a BDD tool for C++. So igloo-testing.org is the Igloo website and if we go and download it you'll see this is actually eventually a GitHub project which means it can actually be modified and contributed to. There's the download. So we drag it into say just our home directory could be anywhere and extract this zip file and so we can find it later we'll change that name just to igloo there we go right let's open up Xcode and we'll start a new Xcode project. And we're going to do a OS 10 application. It's a command line project and needs to be C++, standard C++. Choose, and we'll give it a name. We're going to do the uh, strip strip exercise, uh, the swap int exercise. Uh, that's in section 5.9. Okay. So you've got your basic standard layout here. Uh, we're going to add Igloo to the project settings. So you click on project, go down to edit project settings. Igloo is headers only. There's no libraries and there's nothing to compile specifically for it, which makes it rather easy to incorporate. So pull up headers, just search here, and it's header search paths. Let's put it there and double click that, add a new path and we'll put in that path where we just put igloo. Okay. Close this. Okay, so let's just go back to the igloo website and there's a rather good example, quite explanatory there, self-explanatory even. And we'll pull back at Xcode back up. So first thing we need, pull this down so we can see more. Uh, we need to include igloo, and it's igloo slash igloo dot h. There you go. Xcode's helping me out here. And we need to use the namespace. You don't have to um, if you if you you know don't want to muddy the uh, the the global name space I suppose, but it's easier if you do. Context, and I think this name will do. Notice the semicolon at the end here, like a struct. Create a spec, specify that two int values are swapped. So declare two ints, different values. Fortitude is a nice number. and pass in two pointers to these values to a swap function, which right now doesn't exist. So now we put in our assertions, so we'll assert that we've swapped the values. So A should now equal 42. And we'll also assert that B now equals 37. Using this method to assert gives us some nice friendly output. I'll show you that later when we try to run it. Okay. So we hit build and run. And first thing you expect, it's going to complain. It wasn't declared in this scope, so it isn't implemented, uh, or it isn't even even declared, let alone implemented. So we'll, we'll put in a simple implementation. Won't do anything yet. So the void doesn't return anything, and takes the two int pointers. There we go. Doesn't do anything. Now this will now compile. We 
here. So it ran, ended normally. Now this should have failed. Why didn't it fail the tests? Because we're not actually running them. So change the int main function. So we get rid of the uh, the template stuff stuck in by Apple and by Xcode even, and put in a test runner and run all tests. We've only got one, but if we have more later, this makes life easier. There we go. And right, error from debugger. Um, this means that basically there's a non-zero exit code from whatever we've running at code. So let's go and open up a console and see what actually happened. So click run, console, there we go. So you can see running the tests, something F is failed, swapping in pointers, two in values swapped, failed. Expected, so 42 got 37. Right, let's put in an implementation then. So create a temporary variable, get the value of A. Oh, we don't need that, sorry. So oh. there we go. And now we can save it and rerun it. When we rerun it, we'll see this pop up because the old version is still running with GDB. We can dismiss this and now we can see the result running and you can see there's a pass. The dot means a pass. And we're done.